behind the veil of myth and legend, a revolutionary thinker was shaping the course of human history, leaving a trail of mathematical breakthroughs, philosophical insights, and mystical secrets in his path. Pythagoras was born on the sun-kissed island of Samos, Greece, around 570 BCE. Little is known about his childhood, but it's believed that he was drawn to the wisdom of the East. He traveled to Egypt, where he studied under the guidance of the priests of Thebes, and later to Babylon, where he absorbed the mathematical and astronomical knowledge of the Chaldeans. These formative years laid the foundation for his future contributions to philosophy, mathematics, and science. Pythagoras' journey eventually took him to Croton, a city in southern Italy, where he founded the Pythagorean school. The Pythagorean cult, a mystical and secretive community, was a hallmark of Pythagoras' teachings. This enigmatic group, comprised of both men and women, lived together in a communal setting, adhering to a strict code of asceticism and mysticism. But what's striking about the Pythagoreans is their peculiar set of religious-like beliefs and practices, which bordered on the obsessive. For instance, they believed that eating beans was a taboo. They also had a strict protocol for daily activities, such as taking shoes, where they would always put on the right shoe first, and washing their feet, where they would always start with the left foot. These quirky rituals held deep symbolic significance for the Pythagoreans, reflecting their belief in the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of maintaining harmony in every aspect of life. The cult was marked by secrecy, with members sworn to silence about their teachings and practices, adding to the mystique surrounding Pythagoras and his followers. They believed in the transmigration of souls, and that the pursuit of wisdom and self-purification was essential for spiritual growth. The Pythagoreans' influence on Plato was profound and far-reaching, with some scholars even suggesting that Plato was, in essence, a Pythagorean. The Pythagorean influence can be seen in Plato's emphasis on the importance of mathematics and philosophy in understanding the nature of reality. The Pythagoreans attributed profound significance to specific numbers, which they believed held the secrets of the universe. In their ancient mathematical system, the number one was considered neither even nor odd, occupying a unique position as the source of all numbers. The number two was seen as a symbol of union, the number five was associated with marriage. They believed that seven represented opportunity, and that it was a number of spiritual significance. This was partly due to the fact that in ancient times, children were often born after a seven-month gestation period, leading the Pythagoreans to see seven as a number of creation and new life. These numerological beliefs were woven into the fabric of Pythagorean philosophy, influencing their understanding of the universe and their place within it. They saw numbers as the fundamental building blocks of reality. The Pythagoreans' fascination with numbers led them to discover the harmonic series, a sequence of numbers that underlies the harmony of music. According to legend, Pythagoras himself stumbled upon this discovery while listening to the sounds of hammers striking an anvil in a blacksmith's shop. This led him to formulate the harmonic series, where the frequencies of the notes are related to each other by simple whole number ratios. The story goes that Pythagoras then used this discovery to create a series of musical notes, where the ratio of the frequencies of adjacent notes was a simple whole number, such as 2 to 1 or 3 to 2. This harmonic series, which is still the basis of Western music today, was seen by the Pythagoreans as a reflection of the underlying harmony of the universe and a testament to the power of numbers to reveal the secrets of creation. The Pythagorean philosophers Philolaus and Archytas made significant contributions to the development of music theory, building upon Pythagoras' discovery of the harmonic series. They formulated a sophisticated theory of how notes match up, exploring the mathematical relationships between different pitches and intervals. Archytas, in particular, was fascinated by the possibility of creating semitones, or half-steps, using mathematical principles. 
He was able to divide the octave into 12 equal semitones, laying the foundation for the modern piano. This groundbreaking work not only revolutionized music theory but also marked one of the first significant applications of number theory to a practical problem. Archytas' pioneering efforts demonstrated the power of mathematical reasoning to solve real-world problems, paving the way for future generations of mathematicians and musicians to explore the intricate relationships between numbers and sound. Chances are, you've heard the name Pythagoras at least once in your life, and that's because of the Pythagoras theorem, a fundamental concept in mathematics. This theorem is a cornerstone of geometric reasoning. It states that in a right-angled triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse, the longest side, is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. One of the most significant implications of the Pythagorean theorem is its ability to calculate distances in two-dimensional space. For instance, if you travel 9 units east and then 12 units north, you can use the theorem to determine the straight-line distance from your starting point. By squaring the horizontal and vertical distances, adding them together, and taking the square root, you can calculate the exact distance, which in this case is 15 units. Interestingly, evidence of the Pythagorean theorem can be found in ancient Mesopotamian mathematics, where Pythagorean triplets series of numbers that correspond to the sides of a right-angle triangle, such as 3, 4, and 5, were well known and utilized. One of the most significant and far-reaching discoveries attributed to Pythagoras and his followers is the concept of irrational numbers. The story goes that the Pythagoreans, in their exploration of geometric shapes, stumbled upon a profound truth, the diagonal of a square with a side length of one unit is not a rational number, but rather an irrational one, specifically the square root of two. This realization shook the foundations of their mathematical understanding, as it revealed that not all numbers can be expressed as simple ratios of integers. The implications of this discovery were profound, as it challenged the Pythagorean ideal of a harmonious, rational universe. The existence of irrational numbers like the square root of two forced a reevaluation of the nature of mathematics and the limits of human understanding. According to legend, the Pythagoreans took a solemn vow to keep the existence of irrational numbers, such as the square root of two, a closely guarded secret. However, despite their best efforts to maintain confidentiality, the truth eventually leaked out. A tantalizing tale, possibly apocryphal, suggests that the Pythagoreans were so zealous in their secrecy that they even executed one of their own members who had carelessly revealed the forbidden knowledge. Pythagoras made several groundbreaking astronomical observations that showcased his innovative thinking and keen observational skills. One of his most notable discoveries was the recognition that the morning star, Phosphorus, and the evening star, Hesperus, were, in fact, one and the same celestial body called Aphrodite, now known as the planet Venus. This insight was a significant departure from the prevailing understanding of the time. Additionally, Pythagoras was the first to observe that the moon's orbit is not in the same plane as the Earth's equator, but rather is inclined at an angle to it. He also made a profound contribution to our understanding of the Earth's shape, being the first to propose that it is spherical in nature. The Pythagoreans proposed a revolutionary cosmological model that departed from the conventional geocentric view of the universe. Instead of placing the Earth at the center, they posited the existence of a central fire, a mystical entity that they revered as a goddess, equivalent to the Greek goddess Hestia. This unorthodox concept, which predated the heliocentric model of Aristarchus and Copernicus, demonstrated the Pythagoreans' willingness to challenge established wisdom and explore new ideas about the nature of the cosmos. As Pythagoras' cult gained significant political power in his later years, it often found itself aligned with the aristocratic factions. However, this association ultimately proved to be a double-edged sword. 
As democratic movements began to gain momentum in southern Italy, the Pythagorean cult faced increasing persecution. Pythagoras himself was exiled from Croton around 10 years before his death, a testament to the growing opposition against the cult. The cult's political entanglements ultimately led to its downfall, sparking a violent wave of persecution that swept across the Greek world. By 350 BCE, Pythagoreanism had been all but eradicated. Yet, the legacy of Pythagoras' ideas continued to endure. Moreover, he is credited with coining the term philosopher, as mentioned in the video about the first philosopher Thales. As we gaze upon the enigmatic figure of Pythagoras, we're reminded of the power of human curiosity and ingenuity. Through his mathematical and philosophical contributions, Pythagoras has inspired generations of scholars, scientists, and thinkers. As humans, the universe itself trying to unravel the secrets of its own, we're drawn back to the wisdom of this ancient Greek sage, who reminds us that the pursuit of wisdom is a lifelong journey. The historical record surrounding Pythagoras and his cult is shrouded in mystery, making it challenging to separate fact from fiction. The secrecy that characterized Pythagorean beliefs and practices has contributed to the uncertainty, leaving modern scholars to sift through the accounts of later Greek writers to discern what is accurate and what is mere invention. Furthermore, it is difficult to distinguish between the original ideas of Pythagoras himself and those of his numerous disciples, particularly Philolaus, who may have built upon or modified their master's teachings. As a result, the true nature and extent of Pythagoras' contributions remain subject to interpretation and debate. Now it's your turn. Share your thoughts, questions, and insights in the comments below. What do you think is the most fascinating aspect of Pythagoras' story?